Kamusta, mabuhay, and maligayang pagbabalik sa akin channel. Yesterday, I reacted to the remix of Sun and Moon by Anis featuring J. Roa. And the J apparently, well, according to you guys, stands for John. It's John Roa. And I liked that remix so much and I've enjoyed uh, uh, Jay Roa's vocals so much that I decided to react to another video where he is featured. But this time around, they are covering a Shanti Dope song and it's called Nadarang. And of course, as usual, I have to do my homework and listen to the original song. And that's exactly what I did, man. I listened to the, I actually watched the uh, music video of uh, Shanti Dope's Nadarang. So I thought the song was actually awesome. Um, I cannot believe I haven't heard of it uh, until today. Um, so I have a few things to say about it. Uh, during the verses, okay, so Shanti Dope raps and he raps so sharply. That actually reminded me of the first time I heard, uh, you know, Filipino rap. And I was so amazed by how much the language, you know, the Filipino language is made for hip hop. It just sounds perfect for hip hop. And I also love how, uh, you know, Filipino rappers are in sync with the beat you know because you know for a few years rappers started to rap but not exactly in rhythm with the beat you know like they rap just a little bit off on the beat you know it's, it was like a style and i've never really enjoyed that so when i heard filipinos rap for the first time i was like wow this is my type of hip-hop because they rap they rap so in sync with the beat you know and i love it and that's exactly what shanti dope was, shanti dope was doing in his verses and i could tell that in the verses um he used a little bit of auto-tune just slightly you know like if your the ear is not trained to auto-tune and you haven't really made beats or mixed vocals, you wouldn't even notice it. But on the other hand, you will notice it for sure in the chorus. In the chorus, he doesn't really rap. He kind of sings and I think it's him because you actually cannot really recognize the voice because it's either another person or they pitched down Shanti Dope's voice, and I think that's what they did, okay? But the song is extremely catchy. Um, the mix of the voice is pretty bare bones, you know? It's well done, but it's pretty bare bones. I actually would have enjoyed uh, some ad-libs, you know, during the, uh, the verses, but that's not what they did. Anyway, this is just my summary of the original track. So I listened to it. Now I'm gonna listen to this cover by uh, Jeroa and Agsunta. Agsunta. Uh, it looks like they are a uh, a group, a group of guys. So yeah. Before we start, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Music Game News because that is where you can DM your suggestions. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. <laughs> so, Whoa. So wait, wait, one, two, three, get. This guy looks like Darren Espanto a little bit, don't you think so? Wow, there is a, a resemblance, especially in the eyes, the smile, you know, maybe the hair a little bit. Um, and I think that Jeroa is this guy, right here with the glasses, right? You guys also told me that Jeroa was an ex-Battalion member. So that explains the way he sings and the way he sang on uh, Sun and Moon Remix. Like, I don't know, I got a huge vibe uh, of OPM music when I listened to that remix, you know? Okay, let's keep on going. Yeah, that's... Okay. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so Aksunta, Aksunta, who are they, man? I'm not familiar with them. Maybe we can go to their um, to their channel. Uh, go to the about section and read. Yay! There is a description. Okay. Aksunta is an independent Filipino band popular for its acoustic and soft melodic rock sound influenced by original Filipino music, OPM. It is com uh, com comprised of students from the La Salle College of St. Benilde pursuing degrees in Bachelor of Arts in Music Production. Uh, Aksuntas, the name is really, it's, it's not easy to pronounce, Aksunta. Uh, Aksunta's band members are Jaireh, Singson, vocals, rhythm, guitar, and keyboard. Mikel Arevalo, lead guitar and backing vocals. Josh Planas, bass guitar and backing vocals. And Stefan Arevalo, drums, percussion, keyboards, and backing vocals. So basically, uh, most of them do vocals as well, except for Jaireh. Oh, no, no, yeah, oh, they all do. They all do. Uh, backing vocals, but the lead singer is Jire Singson. Uh, Aksunta popularized uh, a series of video recordings of the band performing OPM songs. Okay, now that we know who they are, we can continue. <laughs> A cappella, yo! Okay, I thought it was going to be the entire thing was going to be a cappella, but that's not the case. They started a cappella by. Well, is it really a cappella? Because they were kind of modifying uh, Jay Roa's voice. It actually sounded like it was a harmony, but it wasn't because the others were not harmonizing with him. It was just him. So I don't know what they did to his voice to make it sound like there was a harmony. But there was also an effect that I really appreciated. There was like a, a pumping effect on his voice that I really liked. So now they are playing, so it's not an acoustic version, but so far, I love it. So at the beginning, j Roll was also beatboxing, I forgot to mention that. Um, okay, they rockified uh, the song because the original song is definitely not uh, alternative rock, you know, it's more uh, hip hop slash pop music, you know. So they changed the style com completely, you know, adding the electric guitars and uh, the real drums behind. Hey, I didn't see you there. Well, now that you're here, um, why don't you celebrate uh, for making it this far into this video by subscribing to the channel, by turning on that notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos, and of course, and the most important thing, to like this video because it does help out the channel tremendously. And now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go back to my business.
Okay, so, 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 who do we got here? This guy is the lead singer. He's, he's probably Jeh or CJ or whatever the name was. Uh, this guy is probably the guitarist. This guy on the left side is probably the bassist. And the guy that we barely see around here, right there, is the drummer. And of course, this guy is Jay Aroa. He is rapping really well, but you can clearly tell when Jay Aroa was singing that he needs auto tune, and that's why he uses auto tune in his tracks. You know, because he he was pitchy. He was clearly pitchy. He's more a, he's more of a rapper than a singer, obviously. See, this is the part where they pitched down uh, Shanti Dope's voice. So for me, it's a little strange to hear the chorus sang in a higher key, you know, with a higher pitch. That was fire, okay? In the original song, I don't remember it, remembering it being that way, you know, with the um, with the chopping of the beat where they stop completely and then uh, the hits, you know? Oh, that was awesome. I loved the energy and the creativity. <laughs> harmony here there is a harmony because they are both singing together and the harmony is just so sweet here wow i'm impressed See, there is an effect on his voice that creates this harmony. You guys were awesome! Please like and share and support OPM. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Sheesh! That was fantastic! Dude, they have a vision. They made it their own. This is what I'm talking about. 
Like, it sounds so different from the, from the original song. Like, the original song on its own already is a hit. Seriously, it's a hit. I was having a very good time listening to the original version this morning, you know, before I made this reaction video. And, and I had, I think I had an even better time with this version. And you know me, I'm more of a hip hop fan, you know, alternative rock or rock in general is not really my deal. There are some classics that I like, right? Some legendary tracks, but I'm more into hip hop. Bruh, they made me love this song and this version. I mean, the intro and outro are obviously similar. You know, they started with uh, beatboxing and they put that effect on Jay uh, Roa's voice that made it sound like there was a harmony and it, it went, you know, it was crescendo. So he, they started with a slow uh, tempo, you know, and then they accelerated until they reached the tempo that they wanted for this cover. And at the end, they slowed down the tempo again, you know. Um, the, uh, the video, right, it's not a music video, it's just one still shot. Uh, but I enjoy the fact that they chose a fisheye lens, you know, to, uh, to film this. Um, wow, the creativity was just awesome. So J. Roa uh, handled the first verse. And uh, the, uh, the lead singer of Agsunta, uh, you know, sang the second verse. And both verses is just rapping and rapping fast. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think Jeroa did a better job than Agsunta because I felt like Agsunta's, Agsunta's verse, uh, to be honest, was more difficult. It was faster. It was so much, I think he was so stressed, you know, to nail it that he rushed it a little bit. But it doesn't matter because the overall effect was just awesome. And I, I loved how they composed this. I loved the arrangement. I loved the, just the, the heads, the parts where they stopped. It just created a, a, a fantastic contrast, you know, between the silences and the, the moment of, of, the, of the song, you know. Loved it, loved it, loved it. I can 100% uh, understand the the crazy amount of views on this uh, on this version, you know. And uh, it's been released four years ago. So freaking good. Anyway, guys, it is now your turn to tell me in the comment section below your thoughts on this cover and the original one. Do you prefer the cover or the original song, you know, or both? It's okay to, to like both or none. You know, <laughs> but honestly, they're both great and they each bring uh, a different flavor, you know. So uh, if you have gotten value out of this video, then you know what to do. You should probably check out my other reaction videos right here.